How are you doing? Welcome to We Are Sport Rally back again. Another wrestling video for you today. Wrestling news video. Lots of news to go over from Tuesday and Wednesday. Good stuff. Here we go. Today we're going to talk about a, a bit of an NXT, the women's tag title. We're going to talk about that. So we're going to talk about uh, Dana Brooke as well. And Alan Five Angels from the Dark Order and AEW. And some raw viewing figures. Let's get right into it then. Let's about Monday Night Raw. John Cena, he was all over the place backstage, shaking hands with everyone all over the place. Well, 1.9 million people watched Raw on Monday night. That's good. Better than it used to be, 1.5 million. So good stuff there on Raw. Okay, let's talk about uh, Alan Five Angels from the Dark Order, AEW. Looks like he's on his way out of AEW. He put a tweet out, quote, excited for what's next, end quote. So that was that. And then uh, on Twitter, Wrestling Observer, they said this, quote, Dark Order, Alan Five Angels, likely done with AEW as contract expires, end quote. So it looks like Alan Five Angels might be leaving um, Dark Order and AEW. Another Dark Order member leaving AEW. Okay, then let's talk about uh, Dana Brooke. Dana Brooke had a car accident the other day. So, uh, this is what's said on Twitter. Quote, Much love to the WWE Universe for the support and love standing up for me. The reason why I was not on Raw last night was because I got into a bad car accident the past week. I am doing good and we'll be back in no time. I really appreciate the love and couldn't ask for better fan support. End quote. And that's what's put on Twitter. So speedy recovery to Dana Brooke, former 24-7 champion, of course. So uh, hope she's okay and back very soon indeed. Luckily she's okay after that car accident there. Okay, let's talk about her NXT from Tuesday night. Let's tell about the NXT Women's Tag, te uh, tag Team Titles. Okay, so on Tuesday night, uh, Roxanne Perez, or Roxy, you can call that if you want to, her and Cora Jade had a match v Caden Carter and Katana Chance, and whoever wins it goes on to face Toxic Attraction on July the 5th at NXT Great American Bash. Well... Roxanne Perez and Cora Jade won that one, so they are going to face Toxic Attraction on July the 5th. NXT Great American Bash. Good stuff there. Roxanne P Perez doing really good. Roxy in uh, NXT, she's really good. Cora Jade as well, doing good stuff. Maybe new champions there. Wait and see. So uh, there we go. That's all the news for t on this Thursday morning here in the UK. Hope you enjoyed my videos, press that like button if you did. And if you're new and you're thinking, who's this guy? Well, wrestling news, wrestling reviews as well, Formula 1, football, lots of different things I chat about. If you enjoy my channel, press that subscribe button, smash that button, help the channel out and grow a lot. Thanks for watching then, until the next video, I'm off to watch Impact later on tonight.